until the dawn of nightfall, everyone fight. How can we complain? Go check your props. Make sure they're all in place. Go check your props before we will all face disgrace. Uh, everybody, this week's numbers have just come in. And we are now Producers have fled to Tibet, but we will never ever regret putting on this show. Where did all the money go? Opening doors. And even though it's killing us, it's thrilling us. us. I have stage fright because I'm superstitious and this play is vicious. Therefore, tonight we'll never. James, you know you can't say that word in the theater, right? Now that you've gone and said McBee, you know we're history. <laughs> we had a show, where did it go? You know it ain't no misery. Now that you've said the Scottish play, you know we're gonna pay. After all that we've rehearsed, we just had to go get cursed. <laughs> Guys, I did it. Curse the show, cause I know we've worked so hard and so count on me and put me to the test. I'll never say Macbeth. He said it again, he said it again, I can't believe he said it again. All of my life has led up to this, and now my show's fallen in the abyss. So I must say, au revoir with a kiss. Instead of saying Macbeth. Yeah! Well, that time was on purpose. Please, guys, the house opens in five minutes. We need to finish our fight scene. So many days. And even though we curse, the play will be okay. Together we say. We'll never say the Scottish play. Macbeth is not what you say. James, the house is opening. <laughs> James, we have a show to do. Come on, stop it, really. James? James? <gasps> James? Are you all right? <gasps> oh my God, James! We're holding! <laughs> there he is. Oh my God, the leading actor, Dan. Well, if only he didn't say the name of the sky play on opening night. How did this happen to him? Do you know who did this? I think I might have an idea. Look at this note. I found it in the valuables basket. There shall be done a deed of dreadful note. Oh. What you should do is go on with the show. 
You must not panic, call police or don't. And all the actors, do not let them go. Things bad begun make strong themselves by ill. So don't reveal this to your inept cast. Or Michelle, worse things, yes, will happen still. Your stage managering days will be past. And <laughs> applaud the deed, I swear, Michelle. Yes, you will see why I did what I did. Just make sure that you'll never ever tell. Yes, that, Michelle, I seriously forbid. You want to live, so you must in me trust. Go now and start the show, that is a must. It wasn't signed. A sonnet? Yes, a sonnet. <laughs> That's the first sonnet I've ever heard that wasn't about love or time or procreation. Yes, I, I know, but in this note. <laughs> Which he wrote in a rhyming couplet. The actor said that I have to go on with the show if I want to live. Uh, why do you say he's an actor? Well, this note was put in my valuables basket, and I only give my valuables basket to the actors. What do I do? I can't continue the show. Oh, I'm gonna have to call 911. No, you have to go on with the show. What? <laughs> my reputation is on the line here. <laughs> Producers, reviewers, and my parents are out there watching <laughs> and judging me. You have to understand, if this show isn't a hit, our theater is going to close. We must, 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 must go on with the show. How are we gonna do that? I mean, what am I gonna do with this? With that dead actor. <laughs> no, we'll leave him on stage. He's evidence for murder. What? What is the audience going to think? <gasps> oh my god, Michelle, you are brilliant. What are they going to think? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, the body is an artistic statement, a concept, a subtle representation of all of death and destruction in the world that surrounds us and consumes us. <laughs> and I mean, it's not like they weren't expecting a little violence. <laughs> We're putting on mackers, for God's sake. Well, who's going to play McBee? Well, have you called the understudy? We don't have an understudy. Oh, that's right, we don't. What do you think about a production of Mbeklehem with an absent <laughs> title character as a concept? We could symbolize the absence of a true political power. But then we miss all those great song lyrics. Wait! Oh, I have an idea! Don't tell the actors about James. What? Let them figure out what to do when they get out there. <laughs> It'll let them focus more on the truth of the moment rather than opening night nerves. Gotta go! Quick, open the house! We can't hold any longer! Can't we just talk about this? I mean, and find a better solution? House is opening! <laughs> oh, there's something about the theater Simply sitting in my seat It that makes something, something in me feel complete. complete We come down here in the evening Sit on down to watch a play. What a perfect way to end the day. Oh, there's something about the theater, simply saying my first line, that makes something in me feel divine. <laughs> we come down here every evening, and we never get there's something about it that I can't take. <laughs> oh, there's something about these actors that just really hits a nerve. <laughs> they are playing roles that they don't deserve. <laughs> Edward, go and fix your hair, Craig. Do you even care? David, sit down in your chair. Come on, Michelle, that's not fair. Hey, my costume has a tear. I'm gonna get some fresh air. Please, do not go out there. The show is about to start. Oh, really? Well, if we all have to stay backstage, then where's James? Uh, yeah, I haven't seen him since Fight Call. Oh, James is... Well, he is just on stage as part of the Paris show. He's lying on stage representing death and destruction, all of that which surrounds and consumes us. <laughs> the idea just occurred to me. <laughs> Go with it. And that is how you pull off a successful cover. Okay. <laughs> how am I gonna do this? This was not in my job description. Wait, I know. I'll be nice, but a little insistent. It's the price that I'm willing to pay. Roll the dice and you'll see I'm consistent. My advice to you on how to do and how 
want to survive the day. Just be nice, but with a bit of persistence, it's all right if you put up a fight. And expect to face some resistance, but with me and you and what we do, surely the show will take flight. Okay, I was just thinking before you ran off, I'm wondering if we can maybe, I just don't know if the audience is going to buy that this body is a Oh, dead Michelle, concept. Michelle, I think you are not understanding something here. I'm the director, you're the manager, and I would prefer if you took my direction. Critics come tonight, we'll put up a fight to get this show right. We'll aim for perfection. isn't very clear. Tell them that there is no need to fear. The show must go on. Oh, it's 7.35. You need to give your pre-show announcement. Now, Michelle, I know this is a lot for you to handle, but I feel that the only thing I can say to you now is good luck. <laughs> so I'm not supposed to say that. I think I'm not. A great leg. <coughs> well, the show's cursed already, so while I'm at it, <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Elderberry Community Theater. This evening, you will be witnessing the world premiere musical adaptation of. Macbeth, <laughs> entitled Mac the Musical, a show that's been pronounced by preview audiences as so good, it's criminal. Uh, is that person on stage all right? You know what to say. Of course he's all right. He's just part of the show. He symbolizes death. Uh, it's a statement. It's just part of the concept. You'll have to watch and see what happens. If you think this is bloody, just wait until the fifth act. Now just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. You didn't say it right. Places! Why don't they ever go to places? I say places to their faces. And when the lights go down. Put on your crown. Okay. <laughs> Shakespeare Company weekend, he's always trying something new to make things fresh. I thought the director said this was part of a concept. Of course it's not part of a concept. She's just trying to make excuses for the fact that she has cast someone in, who is completely incompetent in the title role. Like a professionalism is, is, professionalism is really dragging this cast down. Oh, isn't it? You know, if James isn't going to do it, and since I know the role, why don't I play the part? Did <laughs> you really do it? Of course, I know Macbeth inside and out. Macbeth, have you heard the prophecy? You are going to be king. Fain <laughs> of Cador, all the people will cheer and praise me galore whenever I need. <laughs> You'll be Thane, what have we got to gain? And let's hope he goes and drive all Scotland down the drain. Cause he's nice, but
but quite inconsistent. It's a price that we all have to pay. It's no vice to be king of all Scotland. But the things you'll do to me and you, we won't even get through the day. No, How can I complain about chance again? Now that I am fain, chance made me fain. No, I'm beginning to How can I complain about chance again? Now that I am fain. Oh no. <laughs> go on stage. His equity so surely he'll be tolerable. <laughs> <laughs> Stranger. Sorry, David, we don't have time for this. That's just life in the theater. Play 
faces. Knock them dead, everyone. But we will get this show finished, and it will not be diminished. We'll perform till we are blue in the face. Delicious! <laughs> the audience is craving a show. They're craving culture, entertainment, and intellectual stimulation, and most importantly... Realism! Truth! The human condition! <laughs> Violence! <laughs> people killing other people! I'll tell the old bard to write some more of this. <laughs> when the show has stopped, and the curtains dropped, it will not have flopped, it will exceed all expectations. Macbeth, <laughs> 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 you want to be king. Here's the thing, Duncan's already the man. So make best here is our plan. The murder Duncan will get the chamber that's drunken. The murder Duncan. Once we've killed Duncan, we're not done. We'll kill his son, then we'll kill Banquo and his friends. It never ends, we'll keep on killing. Spread the thrill and we won't stop till we've killed all the whole thing. And seize the crown if we fail. We will not fail. We will prevail without blood. We will not be alone. I am not wrong. Soon you'll sit on your throne where you belong if you think your dreams are sunken. We'll murder Duncan. Oh my god. They are doing it! They're really doing it! No screaming, no rioting, just actors the way they're meant to be. Cooperative, isn't it? <laughs> and we didn't even have to pay an understudy. Oh, you are a genius! Sing it to me! Once we and bend up each corporal agent to this terrible feat. You're the right man for Macbeth. You know him inside and out. Look at him. He doesn't even know what this play is about. Away and mock the time with fairest show. False face must hide what false heart doth know. He cannot speak in verse. He did not even rehearse. And he's getting even worse by the line. Oh, he cannot grasp the rhythm. He's got no soul within him. He's doing just fine. Hey, does anybody know my next line? <laughs> oh, what happened to the lights? They really should pay us more for this show. Uh, don't tell me this is part of another concept. Oh, Edward, you are brilliant. No, it yeah. must be a power surge. There's a generator backstage. There is? Where? Uh, since an equity actor joined the show, oh. equity requires that there be a generator backstage in case something like this happens. Thank God for actors' equity! 
But as we realize there's a difference between what equity requires and what we actually have. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> what did you do to her? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Don't, don't worry about her. Oh my god. Seasons change. People change. People die. Life goes on. <laughs> As our late artistic director said, openings are never perfect anyway. I'm sure that all of you will be better off if you just set your personal lives aside and perform. What? The show must go on. Shh. for me. Thank you. Uh, out! Damned body! <laughs> out, I say! It'll be one of us next. Are you just going to sit there and watch us die? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's continue from where we left off. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not putting my life at risk. I'll do it. <laughs> but we have to go on. It's opening night. All of our lives have led up to this. Right, that's one. Uh, don't forget me. That's two. Who else is it? Come on, we can't wait much longer. I am. Ooh. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Is this our understudy? No. You know me. I set your props before every show. I thought Michelle did that. No, that's me. All me. Guys, I'm the assistant stage manager. <laughs> we have one of those? I think he's the intern who'd go give us line notes and go on coffee runs. <laughs> We have an intern? Why wouldn't we have an intern and not an understudy instead? Because we don't have to pay an intern. Oh, uh, I, I attended every <laughs> rehearsal. I come early and stay late to set tops and strike. I programmed the sound and light board. I launder your costumes and hem them when they rip. I go on errands when you're out of bottled water and want coffee. I clean the blood off the stage after every performance. Oh, yeah, oh, okay, I think I remember. <laughs> but it's all a little hazy. Still. Okay, that's three, four including me. It's a four-person cast, that's all we need. I'm just trying to let the late artistic director's dying wish live on. Well, except for the all-male cast part. That will have to go since I will be playing Lady Macbeth. It, uh, it was a bad idea anyway. Um, you be the porter. Wow. I've always wanted to act. Trust me, you don't. Hey, I you weren't in the show anymore. You, you be Macbeth, and you be Macduff. Wait, I thought I was Macbeth. No, he's already Macbeth. We've established it. It'll just confuse the audience. Edward's already established himself as Macduff, and Craig's already established himself as Lady Macbeth. Stop complicating things, David. I know all the lines, and he doesn't. Macduff is a good role, too. The show isn't called Macduff. It isn't called Macbeth either! <laughs> it's called Mac the Musical. And that can either be referring to Macbeth or Mac Duff. <laughs> I don't know the role of Macduff. Well, he doesn't know the role of Macbeth, and do you see him complaining? <laughs> All right. Open your scripts to Act Two, Scene One. Thank you, guys. So much for your patience while we just sort out this very minor difficulty. We've had a few cast changes, but there's no need to wait any longer because we are now officially continuing the Elderberry Community Theater production of Mac the Musical. <laughs> Is this a dagger which I see before me? The handle toward my hand? Come, let me touch. I have thee not, yet I see thee still. Art thou fatal vision, sensible to feeling and to sight? Or art thou but a false creation, proceeding from my heat-pressed brain? Have you, have any of you noticed the way Michelle's been acting? No sense of empathy towards the dying actors, little nervous habits, blurting out strange things, irrational decisions? <laughs> And that's different how? <laughs> My point is, someone here has to be the murderer. And I've known all three of you so long, and trust you all so much, that I know it can't be one of you. But Michelle, she doesn't have my trust. She's always been a little iffy on my trust scale. <laughs> and she does have the master set of keys. So, I bet she's the one who locked us in here. What she's doing is obviously a plot to ruin the all-male original practice concept we have in place and still my role. 
She would kill to play the lady, the role of Lady Macbeth. I mean, look at her. She knows all the lines. Who was it that thus cried? Why, worthy thing, you do unbend your noble strength to think so brain sickly of things. Oh my God! I think you could be right. No, she can't be. But what if she is? If she is, what are we going to do about it? I have done the deed. Go. Get some water and wash this filthy witness from your hand. Why did you bring these daggers from the place? They must lie there. <coughs> Go, carry them, and smear the sleepy grooms with blood. You were right. It was a terrible idea to continue the show, especially with that stranger playing Macbeth. I'm glad someone knocked some sense into your head for once, David. It is a terrible idea to continue the show. That's why we're going to kill the stage man. What? <laughs> oh, hey, just listen. Are you the murderer? No. <laughs> listen, okay? Uh, not kill. Um, just incapacitate her. <laughs> not from conscience. What's the purpose of that? <clears throat> listen, okay? Do you notice how she's been acting? Clearly, something is wrong with her. First of all, what kind of person would ever insist on continuing a show with a serial killer in the theater? Second, she's nuts. We've known that since the first read, and I bet. No, I more than bet. I know that she's the murderer. She murdered James and the artistic director in order to play Lady Macbeth. The only way to get out of the theater alive is to knock the stage manager unconscious, take her set of keys, and leave. So what do you think? I'll go no more. I am afraid to think what I have done. Look on it again, I dare not. Give me the daggers, for it must seem their guilt. Doesn't David have the next line? <coughs> David, what are you doing? I don't think we should be doing the show at a time like this. You did a second ago. When I was Macbeth. I told you, that's life in the theater. There, there doesn't seem to be much life left in the theater. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I guess only a stage manager, an intern, and a patron are going to be doing Macbeth. I bet this show will get smashing reviews. It has to get smashing reviews. If it doesn't, this theater is going to close. Oh. But hey, it doesn't matter who's in the cast or how inexperienced any of us are, because we all have a little spirit. And in my humble opinion, I think I play a pretty damn good Lady M. <laughs> you know what? I don't have time for you guys. I need to go on stage. You see what I mean? This is exactly what I was talking about. All right, you guys distract her and I'll sneak up behind her and club her with the bat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why do you always get to do everything important? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can hit her with the bat if you really want to. It's not just the bat. <laughs> and what is it? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Hit her with the bat, I don't mind. Craig. No, really, I don't mind. Craig, take the bat. No, I don't mind. Oh, then why did you say you did? I never wanted the bat. What, then why did you say you did? I did it! Well, fine, I'll hit it with the bat. <sighs> Will all great Neptune's ocean wash this blood clean from my hand? Okay, I'm gonna go do it. And what are you doing? My hands are of your color. But I shame to wear a heart go. so white. <coughs> go ahead, hit her. No, see if I care. Don't hit her. To know my deeds were best, not to know myself. No, go ahead. It doesn't matter to me. It matters to some people. <laughs> Murder, you say? <laughs> Look to the lady. What just... <laughs> oh. I didn't touch her, I swear. What just happened? Is this part of the show? I think it is. Uh. Is she okay? Did you kill her? What? No, I didn't get near her. You guys saw? She, she just she just collapsed. <gasps> you killed her? I didn't touch her. Stop it. And if, even if she was dead, why would you think I did it? You're the one holding the bag. What? Because you told me to. Oh, so you're admitting to it. No, no. <laughs> no, I didn't get near her. I guess I'll be your new stage manager now. What's your name again? Did the intern just say something? <laughs> <laughs> so you killed her for no good reason. What? It was in my recollection, Craig, that you had plenty of reasons just a few minutes ago. Here, let's see if she has keys. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even have a pocket, so she can't have keys. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you killed her for no reason at all. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Michelle's gone and now the show's a mess. And we have no hope of getting out of here! <laughs> you can try and find one of our cell phones in the valuable basket and call for help. Ah! 
It's locked up backstage. Should she keep a padlock in the valuables basket? Our theater has no cell phone reception anyway. Did they build this theater with lead walls or something? What are we gonna do? She was the only one who kept the show running strong in spite of everything. Well, what do you think we should do? As actors in costumes with a pain crowd out there that cannot handle watching an audience member recite Shakespearean text without any grasp <laughs> of the language any longer. Like Michelle said, the theater will close if we don't go out there and perform. And perform well enough to wow the critics. I mean, we'll lose our jobs if this theater closes. They may not be the best paying jobs, but as actors, what other skills do we have? I'm for it. Me too! We're not going through this again. We, what other options are there? We're actors, for God's sakes. We are meant to perform. And we may not get to perform ever again if we don't go out there and nail it. Are you sure we should continue this show? If that's the one thing that, that she did that made us distrust her in the first place? I'm in for doing the show, but I think it's time for me to play Macduff. Mm. I guess I'll do it. All right, tis settled. This time, I'll be Macbeth. <laughs> we'll take it from where we left off. Oh, can I be the attendant? Oh, sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How now, my lord? Gentle, my lord. Sleek all your rugged looks and be bright and jovial amongst your guests tonight. Oh, full of scorpions is my mind, dear love! Tonight, there shall be a deed done of dreadful note. What is to be done? Be innocent of knowledge, dearest Chuck. <laughs> I bid thee goodbye. <laughs> Thus is nothing, but to be safe with us, mm. our fears of pink will stick deep. Oh, come on! Get some glow tape while these blackouts. We can't afford glow tape. Equity doesn't require it. Oh, it does. But we had no room in the budget for glow tape once we hired an equity actor. <laughs> <laughs> I find that a worthy sacrifice. Did the intern say something? I think he was just apologizing for not applying glow tape to the stage. I thought the intern was supposed to be helpful. <laughs> we should have got an understudy instead. I picked up a flashlight backstage. Oh, Maybe oh. this will help. It's good. Mm -hmm. We can use this in the torch scene. Oh, oh. <laughs> a light! A light! <laughs> Tis he! <laughs> no, we are going to use it to find the murderer. Somebody dies every time the lights go out in here. Nothing is going to happen, Craig. <laughs> Someone is going to die if you don't stop this. <laughs> the intern got us a lousy flashlight? Now we can't use it for the scene. I I believe you two were the ones who dropped the flashlight. Now he's blaming us. Oh, great. Assume your death safety position. stage manager back. Well, I guess it's a little too late for that after what Edward did and all. Uh, just Craig, remember whose extravagant idea it was. Get up. We don't need Michelle. We can do this on our own. We don't need lights. All we need. Our voices. <laughs> Shakespeare didn't write any stage directions, so I'm sure he wouldn't mind if we performed in the dark. Let's go, Ken. <laughs> oh, treachery! Fly, good fleets! Fly! Fly, thou mayest revenge! Oh, slave! Who didn't strut out of the land? <laughs> Was not the way? There's but one down. The sun is fled. We have lost best half our affair. Well, let's away and say how much is done. Oh. <laughs> Are we all attacked? Oh. <laughs> I told you nothing would happen. That is strange. Maybe the killer has gotten it out of the system. It's <laughs> time for the banquet scene. Then let's go. Come on. Places, everybody. <laughs> Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, welcome. 
welcome, 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 we're so glad you came. Welcome, 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 here's a message from our fame. Please sit down by your ranks and we will do many thanks. I'm so glad that I could be your humble host. Let me start this evening off by giving you a toast. To good digestions, appetite, and that may I talk to you. I am so glad you came tonight. There is something I must do. Don't interrupt my banquet. I spent many hours planning it. It will be just a moment. There is blood on my face. Tis Banquo's then. Tis better out than in. Is he dispatched? Yes. Sleep in a ditch he lies. Uh, Fleance escaped. Fleance escaped! Are you going to... Isn't this great? This dinner day! Please be fair, have take your seat, or our dinner will get cold, and our night will be complete. You're putting our meal on hold. Isn't this great? I will not be. Our meals begun. Macbeth, sit down in your chair. Banco, what are you doing there? Macbeth, you are a great host. I hope you don't find a visit from a ghost. <laughs> oh, what a treat. Our dog tastes sweet. The food's getting colder, and you are just full of it. <laughs> we are only getting older. It's time to eat. Please try the meat. Don't worry about me, Beth. He's no fit since he was young. There's no need to hold your breath. He is just a bit high strung. <laughs> he threw a To be Thane, we were Thanes, Macbeth. Me and you! Macbeth, you should have been seated now. Boy, this conversation's heated. You are painting your own fear. We should get right out of here. Pretty! See there! Look! Oh, look! Oh! I think that it's time to go. Dinner fun, oh, and why? Sit around and wait. More murders await you. <gasps> yes, they do. Avaunt and quit my sight. Let the earth hide thee. Thy bones are marrowless. Thy blood is cold. Thou hast no speculation in those eyes that glare with. Hence, horrible shadow, unreal mockery, hence. The 